Hello all you middle schoolers, Mr. Bienvenu here. I wanted to reach out to say hi, and welcome back after our spring break. You might be wondering why I'm sitting around in my basement wearing a suit and tie, and actually my kids were wondering the same thing this morning. I walked into the kitchen and they looked at me and they said, Dad, why are you wearing that? That's the new who you get to stay home today, right? So I sat down and I explained to them how it was the first day back after spring break and usually that would mean that all the students would be gathering together for a big assembly today and the students would all be wearing their number one uniforms, the teachers would be wearing suits and ties and I explained to them that yeah things are a little weird right now and that this spring break has been a lot different than you know many of the people in our community might have been expecting. I told them that all the change that was probably a little bit hard for a lot of our students and that this Monday was going to feel a little bit different than we had pictured it when we said see you later to each other before the break. So I told my kids that I was going to make this video for you, and I knew there were going to be some disruptions to our normal routine, so I thought I would, you know, wear something that would keep things the same for you. Uh, you know, the same suit you might expect to see with me on any Monday morning. And my kids were like, yeah, Dad, whatever. <laughs> this week, I don't get the chance to greet you in the hallways or give you a fist bump and ask about all the amazing adventures you've been on over the break, and I won't get a chance to pop into your math class or watch you practice the lines to your play in the hallway. School is going to feel a little bit different for a while. But I want to let you know that while some things are going to be different, there's going to be a lot of things that don't change. Your teachers, for instance, still care a tremendous amount about you. We're going to work very hard to make sure you have what you need to learn, to grow, to find out more about the world around you and practice those thinking skills that are so valuable to us here at Aberdeen Hall. We're going to find ways to help you answer questions and to connect with you regularly, and we're going to remind you that just because we can't meet up in person, it doesn't mean we can't grow together. For the last year or so, I've shown some of my classes a YouTube video that I find really powerful. The video is called Firemakers. It's a music video created by Anishinaabe youth of Lac La Croix First Nations in Ontario, and it's a song that the young people put together to describe the current state of things on their reservation and to talk about the changes they wanted to see. I love the song. It's powerful and it really speaks to me, but the reason I show it to my students is because it reminds me that a handful of youth in a small community in Ontario have a tool at their disposal that lets them reach out and connect with people around the whole world. The song has been played multiple millions of times, and it's safe to say that they were able to reach out through the internet and connect with so many people in meaningful ways. We may be separated physically over the next little while, but I want to remind you that we have incredible tools at our disposal to reach out and connect with the other people in our community. I can't wait to dive back into learning with you, to watch you flex your muscles, share your voice, and continue to amaze me every day with your resilience and your innovation. Your teachers have all reached out to walk you through the process of starting back into the swing of things tomorrow. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out through your email or through the Google Classroom. Your teachers want to help you. We're excited to get started. If there's anything you're unsure about, you can always reach out to me as well at paul.bienvenue at aberdeenhall.com. Until next time, I miss you, I care about you, I'm excited to watch you grow. My grade eights have worked hard over the last few years to give me tips on how to make my YouTube videos a little less cringe. So this one, if it can be improved, I would love to hear your feedback. If you wanna tell me about another powerful and appropriate YouTube video, um, feel free to write about it in the comments below. I'm looking forward to talking to you all soon.